make what makes it even worse. Like I was saying there, he was talking about the best characters that could feature. I think he did a top ten list of the worst characters that they could feature in the mm. next one, or the least likely, or something like that. Yeah, it was the least likely because he would never say worst. Yeah, yeah. He always loves them all equally. Yeah. So he, um, he, um, but he he went. It was like one of them is Mega Mix, and Mega Mix is a character who is uh, some sort of gene splicing experiment gone wrong, where Neo Cortex, Doctor Engine, Dingo Dial and some other crash villain are just combined into the one villain okay okay and that character appeared as the final boss once only on a game boy advance crash (laughs) bandicoot game and lo and behold it did actually become a character in the crash team racing thing and he was just like him and the fans were just going nuts like wow i can't believe it i said this wouldn't happen and look at it has bloody Mm. happened you know and then um yeah, so that that's a deep pull to know a, a Game Boy Advance character, and then to for have him in an in in a, in a video go. Now I'd never played Crash Team Racing until 2017 or 2018, and I was like, what? And he was like, I didn't really follow Crash when I was younger, you know. And you're just like, I've been following you for a fucking, like, yeah, exactly, but as long as you've been making f- videos. Yeah. And I was under the impression that. You were a fan of this video game franchise. Yeah, and so we got into it through Crash Team Racing. Yes. And, uh, but... <laughs> Bizarre. Like, we were talking earlier about, like, branding and, like, how people relate to the companies like Nike. Yeah. I was like, I'm so fascinated with what do you think his relationship with the company is. Yeah, because we also watched... One of the best things that, that he did was a 25 minute video which we watched in its entirety yeah. but he like he goes so he says um so this is how he does he opens every video he goes uh, wow so that was a big revelation Ooh. let's talk about it and he's really excited so this video opens up and he goes hi guys uh so crash team racing turns out it's going to be discontinued or they're going to stop making <laughs> additions for it at the end of this year yeah uh, uh, when when this started i thought like he was going to be like my wife left me and uh, I won't be making videos for a while because he was so, so yeah. somber. And then he goes, uh, let's talk about it, you know. And he's very down, low energy, yeah. downtrodden. And he starts off and he, he basically goes into Crash Team Racing and he just talks about how amazing it is and how amazing the company is that made it and what a shame that it can't continue and mm. it had so much potential and hopefully it's a series they'll come back to. <laughs> and then he, but he says something, he goes... Um, because I don't even think that, I think it's Beanox is the name of the studio. It's like I don't even think the Beanox knew what they had on their hands. They didn't know it was going to be this big and it was going to touch this many people. Mm. And he's like genuinely like nearly welling up at the the idea that like Crash Team Racing will not have any more expansion packs. That's it. Like it's that the game won't continue to expand. Yeah. Like the servers are still up. You can still play it. Yeah. He's just like most people wouldn't even notice. Yeah. Like. I've never noticed when a game has been dis- like discontinued like that. Yeah, and also it's not it doesn't exist entirely online. You can also play it. You know, yeah, yeah. Just by a fucking campaign, you know. But like, so does he think that there's like a agreement or some sort of like does he think that if he's loyal to the company, that he should be rewarded for that or something? Do you know what I mean? Well, like, I think he thinks that we're all in it together. And he's like, he, he keeps saying stuff like, I know it's a company and they got to make money at the end of the day. And I was like, I don't think you do. Because he keeps saying this. Like, one of the things he said was, um, and, you know, the four-year anniversary of Crash Team Racing is coming up. And you know that they're not going to let that pass ooh. without doing something big. And it's like, why would they do something big for the four-year yeah. anniversary of this game? Do you know? Um that relationship confuses me so much <laughs> because like it's not anything to do with like with the black lives matter and nike it's sort of like like i said someone being like oh on the whole maybe they're better so i'll just shop there yes but like yes. with this guy it's like he's sort of like they owe me or not even they it's not even entitlement it's just sort of like we're looking out for each other yeah or like they have to be fair about this, you know. Well, I'm the customer. I buy the thing, so like we have this kind of relationship, you know. Yes. Um, but he like. But the relationship seems to go beyond simply just like transaction. It seems to be more like the company needs to like 
look after the community. Mm. Become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Celtic Libers for more.